Hey everybody, welcome back to Loop Hero. Here's the deck we're rolling with today. Uh, we're not going to use Blood Groves. We're going to just try our same like forest and river builds. We're going to keep treasuries so that we can um, uh, get a bunch of resources to upgrade our um, towers and to upgrade this specific building. Where are you? The war camp. So if we can upgrade this, we get an extra 4% to our strength. So we're already at a plus four, which is really nice. Here's our current uh, supply that we have going on. And you can see here we have uh, five HP when we equip an item. Heals 10% at the start of each day or 10 HP, I should say. Heroes damage increased by 5% in the range of road lanterns or beacons. So I am going to bring beacons. I haven't used them for a long time. With this class, the attack speed seems really nice. Uh, then plus this extra damage is cool. I don't know if this impacts our skeletons or us. It says heroes damage, but like it's kind of ambiguous as to if the skeletons benefit. And then 10% uh, chance to receive one ration after killing a rat wolf, which is great because we need uh, rations and uh, extra damage versus rat wolves is great. Plus one HP for killing an enemy and raise the chance of finding a rare item by 30%. Uh, we're going to go back into chapter three and uh, yeah, let's try this. We have a new card to test as well. Let's put our dude in... Oh, we can put him on the corners because we don't have the chronos now. So it's not as big of a deal. All right. So our river layout. Where are we going to do this? Now, I was kind of theorizing that if we could do like more loops with the river then we get like huge stacks on thickets in the corners of rivers but like it's really that's tough to do i think um i'll definitely start here and we can loop down and then go up and then we have all thickets in here i'm okay putting forest on the outside but i could also i could also just use forest exclusively for the um supply beacon thing We could try seeing how that works. Uh, some early spiders would be okay, I suppose. Let's do one here. Maybe spawn in before we get one. Or before we get there. Okay, ruins. Now... Oh, I should actually be placing these. I keep forgetting to place stuff just at our base. Just do it. Okay, so if we put ruins here and we end up fighting the boss, then uh, these will help the boss. We don't want that. If we place ruins here, then they help these fights. Uh, but we have our archers, so they usually go down pretty quick. Um, and we actually don't need... We actually don't need a lot of help fighting these worms. So... Maybe we just leave the worms on their... Like, totally by themselves. I could flood it with spiders if we wanted. And I think what we'll do is we'll just do, like, tons of groves around here and spiders and just let it kind of happen. Let's put this here so we know where it's going to spawn. Okay, so beacons and stuff. Uh, ooh, yeah, the range is pretty good. It's a bird and as uh, it's pretty good. Uh, it's a it's a nice one. Okay, so if we go here, we get protection on this side. I'm just looking at where we're fighting around base, and I'll probably I'll have to place two, I guess. But uh, that hits a bunch of tiles. Let's do that. Uh, let me fill up this side of thickets first because we'll get more value out of it when we wrap around with the uh, river.
We'll just keep ruins on their own. I don't want to spawn them next to these blobs even. Mind you, there's no worms to spawn anyway. So groves, we're just going to slam into our uh, base area here. Let's go here because we have the uh, beacon protection. Or the beacon buff, I should say. All right, treasuries will start building off in the corner here. Maybe I should build down here. So if I come down and I go up with the river, I'm coming up here, going around. Um, yeah, let's build beacons like as far out of the way as possible. And then I'll use forest here. Even though, like, as you can see, we could be putting them here. I'm going to try the idea of just using forest for... Uh, these treasuries. But I think... Man, I want to say meadows give us food. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's the way to go, truthfully. We'll see. I was like, we get a bunch of wood, but kind of like... For what, right? We really need rations. We got one here already. One food supply. I think that comes in just from placing a treasury. Anyways, we, we're experimenting out here. Having a super time doing it. Okay. Rove it up. I don't really need to heal here, but having healing on the opposite side of our camp, I've kind of enjoyed that approach. And look at this a quest. Now this might... This could be just death. We might just die here. We seem to be doing okay. Okay, good. Alright, so we have a chest. Let's spawn that in here early. Nothing? Wait. Why is there still a boss there? That's weird. That's weird. Oh, I bet you he escaped. <laughs> As I was saying, I don't I feel like my the snakes we fight don't escape a lot. Which is why we didn't Yeah, okay. So he's gone too. Fair enough. Maybe he maybe they are escaping a lot and I'm just not seeing it. That's very possible. As we get stronger, that shouldn't happen as much. Uh, 1.91. Yep. Summon quality. Yep. Attack speed. Yep. Did I say yep enough? Yep. And we want to fight as many rat dogs as possible. So I almost wonder if I shouldn't have placed these spiders here. The other benefit, though, is that we get the orbs of expansion, but I don't think those are a super high priority for us. Um, skeleton level. This one's technically a bit higher because of the boost. The bonus, I should say. Then we get the other benefits. Um... Evasion over defense, less HP. No, it's fine. Okay. Plus one to skeletons. Love it. We're early on in this run, so... Like, in this loop. So I'm okay completing this treasury. Generally, I think we want to wait. Oh, that's too bad. We just got this extra one. 
It's nice if we can place these one tile apart from each other, but uh, that's life. Do, do, do. 1.78. Uh, max skeletons. All right. Let's go. I'll do our other beacon um, here. So all of these tiles are covered. Do I want a blood clot? It would only be on this one tile. And it has protection from the our camp as well. Yeah, let's do it. Maybe drop some better loot. Okay, tons of beacons. Now, the beacon says the beacon doesn't say anything about not stacking, but the bonus damage that we have from being in the beacon uh, says it doesn't. Like I think it's five percent or whatever. We could try this outpost spawns an assistant on adjacent tiles, but we lose yellow and orange items dropped as payment. So if I place this near, oh interesting. Okay. If I place this near the end, like this is obviously a, a good spot, or maybe even here for now, near the end of a loop, um, the kind of effective quality is always a little bit less because your loop level determines the quality or like the, the benefits of your items. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I want to put this like legitimately right at the end. Let's see. I'm going to put it here. Whatever. Let's just see what how it goes, right? What what's, what's the worst that could happen? This might now be blocking a river if I get a river all the way over here. But that's like wishful thinking. So I'm going to take the boost on these tiles and see what happens. Now we saw in the last run that these, these encounters can actually hurt us quite a bit if our attack speed gets to that really upper echelon limit of like 200, 250% because we spawn our skeletons so fast and then our hero doesn't have anything to do except for attack. And then what happens? We get crushed by those training dummies. So something to keep in mind. Let's do spiders with this group. And we learned that there's sirens that can spawn when uh, we place battlefields next to rivers. Oh, this is actually a horrible spot for this because I'm blocking my river. Ugh. I'm going to have to oblivion that one. Okay, this is the guy that's helping us. No, wait, I'm not going to harm anyone or at least those who don't want to harm me. Actually, I could hurt many, come to think of it. It doesn't matter. I'm trying to save this world and I need help. Oh, yeah? And how do you plan to save the world? By raising the corpses of our relatives from the ground? Maybe you can resurrect the dead, but not our desire to help you. All these undead are disgusting. It's a disease that must be exterminated, and those who spread it should be the first to perish. I'm fighting evil monsters as we speak. Does that mean nothing to you? Open your eyes. Yeah, it means that it's a very convenient opportunity to get rid of you both at the same time. Archers, throw them with arrows until they understand. The apocalypse is the least of their troubles. Um, whoa, okay. A volley, that's what he's doing. Every seven seconds, archers from the outpost shower the battlefield with arrows, dealing 12 damage to everyone. Oh, what? I don't think that's very good. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. And we lose our good items for this? It's Oh, it says the necromancer is not welcome here. The, sh the soldiers will shoot him and everyone. So I wonder... <laughs> I wonder if this is only good with other classes. Oh, that's cool. Okay, well, won't be placing any more of those. Interesting.
It is helping us kill these guys off without them running away. So there's that. Here's an extra skeleton. Um, we already have it in this slot, but we get evasion and HP. Cool, 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 cool. Regen here, but we're fine. And we, we are getting uh, food supply from this too, so that's good. The food supply is building up pretty quick. I wonder how viable it is to just remove, like, everything from our run and only have rat wolves just to get a bunch of food. And they could be, like, the only enemy. Okay, so I'll hold this Oblivion. Actually, I could spawn another village. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I think beacons are definitely better placed inside the map. Seeing how this all goes down. Yeah, let's spawn in another village here. Now, uh, I'll oblivion this camp at the right time to spawn the dark slime. So, two days, two rooster crows, and the rooster, the rooster crows, and the crow cause. That's when we'll rock. Summon quality, better defense. Let's go here. Summon quality, regen, over 10% attack speed. Um, You know what? Let's take a little bit of regen there. Attack speed is, is generally not something we need to boost with the forest and stuff. Here's a plus skeleton if we want it, but four is good for us right now. More regen. Very small difference in skeleton level. Yep. What's the difference here? Uh, defense versus regen. Okay, cool. So we have a little regen build happening. Isn't too bad. Yeah, this outpost I'm not going to place at all. I'm just going to ditch that one. Looks like rivers are coming in hard and fast. Uh, forests will do here. So, yeah, okay. So, this gives the random thing, which can help with the rations. That's right. Okay. Thicket, I'm going to place this one down here for the big boost. There's a ration. We'll have another blood clot there, but... Keep that regen. I mean, we're at max right now, so it doesn't really even help. Um, let's get rid of it. Take the evasion. Oh, I forgot. 
Oh, God. I said I was going to Oblivion the bandit thing, and then I forgot that we had spawned it in, and then we had deleted this instead. Jeez. Sometimes it's like that. You know, sometimes you say something and you forget about two seconds later. Does that ever happen to you guys? Yeah? No? You're all perfect? I get it. One day. I'll get there. This is kind of a nasty little setup here. Not much we could have anticipated because that was a blob spawn, but... Oh, and then, of course, the gargoyle joined the blob, but yeah. Um, okay. This is a pretty nice boost to level. I mean, maybe we'll keep the regen for a bit. Three strengthen skeletons at the start of each loop. Uh, skeleton level for a... Oh. Plus 0.25 to skeleton level for a loop. Starting from the loop when this trait was received. If you're going to go long, this is definitely the way to go. But I'm I'm going to take this only because... I think I'm going to do like one or two loop more loops here. And then uh, reconstruct our deck. to Just, to, just focus on rations like exclusively. get some level from this. Plus 20% attack speed. One thing I'd like the game to do is uh, in battle, like, change your stats, put in brackets, like, whatever is being impacted by the current battle. I think that would be excellent. Oh, we definitely take this. That's max skeletons, too. It's a really good one. I don't know. Maybe we can keep this one going? Like... Now, if rat dogs, like, wander over here, that's going to become an issue. Because um, then they'll get defended by this. We won't have the camp to help. This here, the blood clot, I can't put this over. Uh, we just do some randomly up here. bad. Now we'll fill this with our thickets. I have oblivions. And if I use them the right way, <laughs> that's the key. Okay, so now check this out. When this crow spawns, every crow spawn I need to be checking, basically. Another max skeletons here and level. We lose some evasion. Uh, it's a small amount of level and less HP. I think I'll pass. And I'll replace this one with straight up evasion. Okay, so as there as the crow cause or as the the rooster crows. <laughs> Uh, these guys are not spawning, so they're spawning on the next day. Yeah, 
That was an interesting tile. Holy smokes. Um, this is not as big of a boost. And we lose a skeleton. So we probably want to wait for like a 7 or 8 grimoire there. Um, lose a skeleton for half a level might be worth it. Yeah, let's do that. Evasion and a little bit of regen. I'll replace... I'll replace the one on the left with that. 3.97 is actually a pretty big boost. And we lose another skeleton going down to 3. Do it. Okay, so now both of these are spawning a dude. We'll have a dark slime there. We'll have a dark slime here. Happy about it. lose a little summon quality, a little regen boost, but I don't think so. These are the things where we definitely need to have max skeletons, uh, or we need to have oblivions for them. All of our battle tiles are basically being hit. Maybe not over here. One, two, three, four villages. What's the cheese do? HP after killing. Okay, cool. I think we have that equipped, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to trigger our run here. level up. Attack speed up. Yep. Uh, and I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll leave from here, even though it's going pretty well. Um, I want to try to optimize getting uh, food rations. Skeleton level up. I think we keep keep that base grimoire there. Skeleton level boost from here. Small drop in quality, but that's fine.
Okay. I think I'm going to retreat. Um, I'm going to retreat here. We're doing well, and we could keep going, but I'm going to I'm going to try to like reconfigure the deck so I can optimize uh, food drops because like we need a lot of food for these upgrades and the way that we're currently getting it is not super ideal I don't think um, so if we look here so food treasury can drop them fighting oh from fighting on the battlefields does that actually mean like actual battlefields it says drops from some enemies let's see roadside oh yeah the shipwreck we saw but we didn't get to fight a siren yet it actually says battlefields uh so maybe that is a thing and then enemies they drop living fabric but we have the 10 percent to drop from them uh, pitiful remains. We get rations from the flesh golems, so we could bring those into farm. I don't know if that's if it gives us enough scarecrows field of blades hmm okay so scarecrows flesh golems field of blades and then the drops from the rat wolf I'll put something together and and come back with uh, an attempt at the best way of like trying to farm some food I could always build another farm but if I did that, like, I'm getting... I'm only getting three here. I could get maybe four here, which would be good. And then we're out of the uh, preserved rock for that. Yeah, so let me put something together, see what I can pull off. But uh, that was a fun. We actually, we actually got a lot accomplished in that run and learned a few things. So uh, we'll apply that as we go. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.